guy. A little wobbly. Dennis Long's family has farmed this land near Grangeville since 1888. Dennis was born on the ranch and has lived here his entire life, except for his time away at the University of Idaho, earning a degree in agriculture. Welcome to the ranch. Each year, Fish and Game Conservation Officer George Fisher brings young people from his hunter education classes to Dennis's land for their first hunting experience. And since he teaches ethics of wildlife and ethics of land use, I am fully support that. Idaho's landowners are essential to the success of the Fish and Game's mission to preserve, protect, perpetuate, and manage fish, wildlife, and their habitats. Although nearly 70% of Idaho is public land, the remaining 30% is the premium property. It's no accident that settlers handpick the best lands to homestead, places with good soils, valley bottoms, and access to water. It's also no surprise that these are the same lands that can support a plethora of wildlife. Wildlife's pretty varied. One time I counted up that I'd seen 32 species of mammals on the place. Consequently, hunting and angling on private land has huge appeal. Fish and Game's Access Yes program is designed to improve sportsmen's access to private land or through private land to public land by partnering with willing landowners who provide entry. In 2012, Fish and Game negotiated 110 agreements that opened over 442,000 private acres and increased access to more than 440,000 acres of previously blocked public land. But even beyond the benefits for hunters and anglers is the concept that conservationist Aldo Leopold called the land ethic. It is the idea that we as a society care about people and land and the connections between them. We share a responsibility for the land, which benefits us all by protecting and preserving waters, soils, plants, and wildlife that make up the landscape. It is a notion that Dennis Long instinctively understands and embraces wholeheartedly. Well, as he's just a member of society in general, and I think, I like to think of myself as somebody with a social conscience, I think. Uh, appreciation for nature, for creation, for wildlife, for other people who use it is critical for development of ethical and uh, productive citizen. In other words, what's the purpose of having unless it can be used to enhance life and the quality of life?